big special thank you to Universal for even making this conversation possible. And here at Spelman, whenever we gather in Sisters Chapel, it means that there's a message that needs to be heard, and today is no exception. So let's get started. Again, if you guys are tweeting or taking pictures, please be sure to hashtag Little Movie so we do not miss a moment of what's happening for today's conversation. So are you guys ready? Without further ado, I would love, love, love a big round of applause for the cast and director of Little. Ready? We have Regina Hall. For me, uh, I also created Little, so when 
when I actually heard it, it was like surreal to me because I, I thought this actually happened. Like I thought someone my age that has done this before and I was just like, you know, producer title, hey. But when I heard that I was the first one and it happened to be a young black girl from Little Home, Texas, which was me. It was, yeah. <laughs> and it, it was, it was <laughs> I'm grateful just to be around amazing people and surround myself with like positive energy all the time and I, I think that's what like keeps me going and of course with my wonderful parents and my little sister like them helping me you know just, and just guiding me through this process is absolutely amazing and it means a lot to me so what I love so much about this movie is that I think that it highlights wearing many hats in the industry is a gift. And it's something that you should do. You should know how to wear many hats. Issa, can you talk a little bit about being a writer, coming up with your own content, starring in a movie? How does that feel um, navigating those spaces? Um, it all kind of happens by accident, if I'm being real. Um, doing a web, web series, I was producing web series in the past. Um, before I put like, before putting myself in my own, and was just directing, editing, producing them, and then when I came up with the idea for Opera Black Girl, I wanted my friend to be in it, but she was like, "Girl, I'm in D.C. and I'm in law school, and you're not paying." So <laughs> I was like, "Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's the stuff." And then <laughs> just decided like I, I didn't I didn't want to wait for anybody, and I was in it, and so that ended up catapulting my career and working for HBO and working with HBO rather and um, working on Insecure, you do wear multiple hats but I have so many great people who are in specific lanes to just help me because it's a learning process throughout. Um, and something like this was kind of a vacation in that, you know, you have this wonderful director, the creator here and star, EP yeah. star here too and all I have to do is just come to set and kind of just execute someone else's vision um, and, and that was such a pleasure. I learned so much being a part of, part of this production that I could also apply that to future films that I do and do apply. Right. I think it's important that we bring each other in on projects because oftentimes if we're not given the opportunity, we have to create it for ourselves. And I think that's such a huge message even outside of the movie. So can you guys talk about bringing in other women of color, bringing give them the opportunity to elevate themselves as well. Yes. I'll say for, for Little, for example, after Marseille, you know, I just sort of vibed on her, her courage and going out and creating something new. In terms of making Little, I started looking at other black women that would be doing different things that we could use in our production to present in the movie. So I found an artist on Instagram, Shamaya, who makes, she actually did a, a, I was looking for a reference for Issa, and then I saw she did a fan art for Issa. And so I, I asked her to do the art for the movie. So Big Jordan's apartment is done by, a, you know, a very cool artist um, that I found on Instagram. And a lot of the fashions that people love, that um, you don't have to be, like in a store, or we just like, we love what you're doing, right. let's let's do something together. And I think those smaller steps are, are just as important as when you get a co-star that, you know, is gonna be in the phone. And also I have to give a shout out to Will, who, you know, had the foresight, Will Packer, obviously, who had the foresight in creating a project like, or producing a project like this to make sure that Black women were at the helm, black girls were at the helm, and, and, and empowering us to be able to tell our stories. Um, so that matters too, and that matters in terms of giving people chances and um, making sure that we're able to, to, to carry the torch and, and do the same moving forward. Right, I have this question for you guys. Um, considering Hollywood's eagerness to kind of capitalize on the makeability of black content right now, do you, as producers, as storytellers, as writers, are you concerned about that eagerness maybe compromising integrity of projects, or how does that make you guys feel? Do you want to take it? Uh, yeah, I'm concerned about that, I think, but what I feel like is 
different, because they, they, they've tried. You've seen that happen a lot of times. I remember when Scandal came out and was so successful, and a lot of networks were just like, let's make our own person, let's make our own version of Scandal and just plug in a black woman or plug in a, a down white woman and see if it, you know, has the same effect. It doesn't. It doesn't. It does. You said what? Watch this for like a certain audience, 
but I think it's like for like every everybody, and I think people need to see that more. I don't know if that makes sense because I'm like, but you know, you know, so. <laughs> get put on overnight and people's stories get hurt overnight. It's tough because I think with the idea of the bullying and the rejection, mm -hmm. um, even when, when writing and working on Little, I, at the end you have to ask yourself, what, am, what are you distilling the message down to? And it sounds simple, be yourself, right? But that takes so much time to, to hear that voice versus all the other voices that are telling you, can't do that. Nobody's done that before. You're not from the right place to do that. Or watching you on social media, or you're watching someone else's life and judging it against that. And it's a it's a long process to hear that still voice. And even when someone says no to you, you can hear the right voice in your head that says, "Keep going, right. keep going, keep going." And so you have to sort of get quiet to hear it. Yeah. And that in this society, it's. it's Hard to take that time to do it, but it's a simple message. Be yourself. It's a process to hear the right voice in your head to tell you go, go, go.